What's up, YouTube? Emical Porter here. Constellars are probably the most annoying deck in the format, in my opinion, uh, just because of Pleiades and his infinite bounce ability, it seems. Um, a lot of players have also thought that Triple Sheraton was not a thing, uh, but this player decided to reinforce the statement that Triple Sheraton is good. So, guys, this is the ARG Columbus first place deck profile. One Thunder King, triple Constellar Chaos, triple Pollux, triple Algaide, triple Sombre, one Honest and Triple Sheraton. I would like to point out that there was a rumor going around at the event that the player did not play Sombre at all, uh, but he actually does, and he does main deck the wall. Uh, for spells, one Rota, Dark Hole, triple MST, one Book of Moon, two Lances, two Tangies. For Traps, one Bottomless, one Torrential. Two main deck Compulses can actually mess up a lot of your opponent's plays. The one Compulse, two Emptiness, Two Imperial Iron Walls, Triple Chain, and then the One Solemn Warning. His extra deck, one Zen Mines, one Cowboy, one Dweller, one Star Leash, two Omega, one Praspi, one Crazy Box, one Volcasaurus, two Pleiades, one Tyrus, M7, Gaia Dragon, and Chimera. His side deck, two Cyber Dragons, two Veilers, one Forbidden Lance, one Dimensional Fisher, triple Mind Crush, another Dust Tornado, Emptiness, Wall, two Gozens, and one Soul Drain. A uh, very interesting build, uh, I'm not going to lie about that. Um, I do like his tech choices with Dust Tornado and the main deck walls to really throw off your, the Dragon Ruler matchup uh, because you take out the Dragon Ravine when they discard and you know they still only have the one feasible color, which is actually very nice. So guys, please tell me what you think about this deck in the comment section down below, and I'll talk to you guys later on.